it is always interesting when trigonometry and geometry questions are combined together or the applications of the two are joined together in one question so this is one of a typical example of such question for september 2024 wasi question in the diagram the e h is taken as the arc of the circle with a center q and f e the f h is taken as what the tangent to the circle at the point h and q f is a straight line we have q h is given as three uh, h root three centimeter the angle EQH, EQH is given as what? 60 degrees. Our task is to find EF, this small portion of the straight line. Then we have to find the area also of the shaded portion. So let's look at the diagram carefully. If we are asked to find EF, that means we are only finding some portion of the straight line which is extending from here, from QE, is also going to be the radius, since this is an arc, right? A line from the circumference to the center give us a radius. So QH and QE becomes a radius. So I can say that the length of QH is equal to the length of what? QE and that is equals to what? The 8 root what? 3 centimeter. That becomes the radius, right? I can also find that same as what? The radius. We can just have an equals to and indicate the radius. So that is the first thing we can easily see, right? Now, in finding the length, we can look at QHF as a triangle, right? Then... This HF is a tangent. A tangent and a radius form an angle of what? 90 degrees if they meet. This is a radius meeting the tangent there. So that angle here, let me use. This very angle is going to be 90 degrees. So that makes triangle QHF to become a right angle triangle, right? Good. If that is the case, we can employ the principles of what? Pythagoras theorem. So we can just see from the triangle QHF, if I pick the angle here, it will be opposite to this length, right? Let me use the blue. So we have opposite there. This is going to be the adjacent because the right angle is facing here. So this is going to be adjacent. And this becomes what? The hypotenuse. Let me put a bracket to differentiate this from the edge there. So now, I am going to be making use of opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. But among these three, one of them is not needed in this calculation. You can see, we don't need the HF. We need QF because we are paying attention to EF. So it means O is going to be eliminated from our usual SOCATUA, right? So this acronym that contain O, we cancel them out. So SO and TUA, only CA, meaning we can have the cos of the angle here, 60 degrees equals to the adjacent side, which will be the root, 8 root 3 divided by the H, right? That would be the hypotenuse. So I will just have QF. That would be the trigonometry uh, ratio we can use from there. So now, if we cross multiply, we are going to have the length of QF equals to H, the root of 3, divided by cos 60 degrees. Don't forget, cos 60 is going to be half. Maybe it is 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 will go up to multiply this. The 1 will be down, the 2 goes up. 
You can put all in the calculator and you get your answer as 2 times this is 16, the root of 3 centimeters. So we are aware that the, from here all the way to this is what we found. But we are looking from E to that place. So the length of E, F, will actually be equal to the longer side, Q to F, minus the radius, which is final thought, QE. So we are going to have the longer side, yes, here, 16 root 3, minus the short side, which will be uh, 8 root 3, here. So let's perform that subtraction and see what the length EF will be. So from here, we are going to have our length EF equals to 16 root 3 minus 8 root 3. And we know they have the same root, this is a like set. So 16 minus 8 will give you 8 root of 3 centimeters. So the length we are looking for in the first part of the question which is EF will be 8 root 3. Alright. Then the next thing to find is to find the area. Let's look at how to find the area. If you look at the whole thing without the shaded part, you will be seeing a triangle as the bigger part. Right? Then after that, you will also be seeing the sector. Right? The sector with the triangle, uh, with the angle 60. This will be a sector. So if you take away this sector from the main triangle, you'll be left with the shaded part. So first thing first, let's find the area of the triangle. So we are going to say area of triangle QHF will be equal to half AB psi what? Theta. Remember, we have several formulas in finding the area of a triangle. You can check that on the playlist in YouTube. We are going to use this very one because the length here and this length combined to produce the angle. So I can use the angle inclination formula. You can also go ahead and find the length HF, which will be the height. So this will be the base, the height. So you can do so. But I want to use this since I've have a tutorial on this already. So this will become 1 on 2 AB, meaning the length that combine together or incline to produce the angle. The first one will be 8 root 3. The second one will be from here to that is 16 root 3. Then we have the sign of the said angle. In this case, the angle is what? 60. If you are multiplying, the 8 and 60 will multiply, right? Then root 3 times root 3. That will give you 3 or root 9. So 3 times half of this is 4. 4 times this will be what? 64. So we're having 64 times 3 sine what? 60 degrees. So let's put that on the calculator and see what that will give us. And from here, this will be giving you 166.277 Let's leave it in 3 decimal place since we are looking for uh, 3 significant figures So this is just for the triangle The next is to find the sector So we can say area of sector Q H what? E Let's see what that will also be. So we know that will be theta over 360 times pi r or square. What is a theta? The angle at the center divided by 360. Pi is 22, 7. Radius is 8 root 3 or square. And if you do so, this will become uh, 64 times 3, just like we have here. Then the whole of this times that. Let's put that all in a calculator and see what we are going to get. So this will be giving you 
hundred point five seven one. So let's give that. So it means that area of shaded portion, right, will become the whole triangle is one six six point two seven seven minus hundred point five seven one and that will be giving you okay that will be giving you sixty five point seven zero six sixty five point seven zero one six but we are leaving the answer in three significant figures one two three so I take off this you don't have enough of the space so centimeter squared I think this will also be centimeter squared then this very one will also be in centimeter squared. So this is the final area of the shaded part of this diagram. I guess the board is not that big, but you are able to get the concept built up in this question. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Share this video, like it, and subscribe to the channel, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Bye-bye.